But first, though, we're expecting an update from the Weather Service today, hours after severe weather strikes Central Florida. We've seen images since yesterday afternoon showing trails of significant damage into land. And here you can see some of that damage. This is some video that came in of crews responding to those downed trees and power lines and damaged roofs. At one point yesterday, 3,000 businesses and homes were without power. This morning, we're hearing 1,700 are still without power. Our team coverage begins now with News 6 reporter Mark Lehman live in DeLand. And Mark, early assessments from this look like this was likely a tornado. Yeah, even before arriving on scene, the National Weather Service said this was likely a tornado based on images of the aftermath. And here behind me, that looks like a very accurate assessment. Take a look. You can see the scattered debris and downed trees all over the place. But there off in the distance is a church steeple coming from a church right across the street here. And as uh, we pan further down the road, you can see just all of the damage scattered all along this neighborhood. Up in the tree there, it looks to be what, uh, what is, uh, appears to be a part of a shed way up high in a tree. All of this coming after some terrifying moments yesterday afternoon. My, hu my husband said, did you hear that? And it was like a roaring noise. And next thing he says, move it. We had to get out of here. Ophelia Curcio says she was in her sunroom moments before the possible tornado struck her home along Compton Court and leaving behind widespread damage. I panicked. I started crying. This is terrible. The Florida Highway Patrol releasing this dash cam video from a box truck showing the powerful storm as it swept through Tuesday afternoon. The strong winds causing the truck to overturn. Troopers say the driver was taken to the hospital with bumps and bruises. Meanwhile, many others sought shelter inside. It's just a feeling of like panic, basically. Um, we don't really know where to go, where to turn and what to do. Kristen Fellian says her home and car were both damaged in the severe weather. Downed trees along with power lines and debris are scattered throughout her neighborhood, but she counts herself as lucky because things could have been much worse. The Deland community has been so super supportive and so super helpful. Um, I couldn't be more thankful for the people that have come in to make sure that we're okay. And back out here live this morning, you can see the work that's underway with uh, people using chainsaws to cut up a lot of the trees that were down in this storm. Here behind me also is that church where the steeple came from that landed about, uh, I'd say about 50 feet from where I'm standing. Now, uh, the good thing about all this is that Volusia County officials say there were no major injuries, no deaths asso associated with this storm. Right now, the National Weather Service is here assessing the damage, uh, working to determine if it was in fact a tornado that touched down. We will keep you updated with what they learn. For now, reporting live in Deland, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Mark, thank you. It certainly does look like tornado damage. And while the storm surveying and cleanup continues today, we're learning that help is on the way for people affected by the storms.